Look, I just gotta say from the get-go here, today has just not been my day, I have to say. So, first of all, ignore all the power book guts around you. I'm in the middle of multiple projects. So, first thing I do, um, I go and I'm about to start recapping the logic board of my PowerBook 1400C, and uh, I realize I had ordered the wrong caps, so that's great. And then I go and recap a PowerBook 500 series power supply, and it didn't work, so... Um, I'm sort of tempting fate here by attempting another project, but, on this day, but I want to get started on this. So, I want to build a real nice Windows 7 laptop, and of course I picked a ThinkPad, and the model specifically is a T430, which is a great ba balance for everything I need, I think. These are very legendary among ThinkPad people for being very upgradable, moddable, excellent computers. Um, and they're that late Windows 7 era, 2012. This one actually shipped with Windows 8, so yeah. And uh, they're in all ways excellent, except uh, the screens are terrible on them. This is a TN 1366 by 768 panel. It's garbage, and uh, this one isn't the highest end. It's got the lower end of the two screens. There was like a 14, 1600 by 900, which also kind of sucks, and has a TN panel. Um, but this is the lower end. It has a Core i5. These were available with i7s. It had four gigs of RAM. I have eight in it now. And it doesn't have the dedicated graphics, but that's fine. I got it for, I think I paid 35 bucks or something for it. It wasn't that expensive. I got it at the swap meet, and it already has an SSD in it, 250 gig, I believe. And so, luckily, people love these computers for other reasons enough that screen upgrades have been made for them. And I've got one in this little part in here. So, let's take a look inside. And then we're gonna try to install it. Very unassuming bag. Have to be careful with this. These screen connectors are fragile. So right here, we have ourselves the upgrade board. So I believe this end would plug into the motherboard, I think, and this end plugs into the screen. So does this, oh no, what are those? They're just sitting in here and there are a bunch of them. And one of them's trying to slip under a key. What are these for? Oh my God, they're all falling off. One just fell on the floor. What? Are those important? For what? Um, I'll put those in my screw organizer. There's a sixth one though, and it's vanished. I mean, they're little plastic discs. How important could they really be? And they're clear, and they fell on the floor. One of them did, so I'm not getting that back. Oh, it's on my hand. Never mind, I am getting that back. <sighs> Man, so. Here's the thing, I got a screen as well. I suppose we should go and uh, look up an install guide and then install. So let's look up on the ThinkPad real quick to see how involved this is. Well, it appears like this may just be clipped on. So that's what I'm gonna do because I'm not sure how else to go about this. Um. So I'm gonna get the battery out, of course. Battery is almost toast, but it's somewhat working. Okay, so no visible screws anywhere, which is weird because in the in the hardware maintenance manual I looked up, it said then we reinstall the securing screws, and I'm like, Haha, screws? What screws? Because it showed no examples of screws. Hopefully I'm not screwed. Okay. Um, plastic clip. Yes. I'm going to turn my attention first to uh, uh, the bottom left, because that is where there's already a bit that's lifting, like a broken clip or something. So let's keep going. Oh, yeah. There we go. Uh, it's gonna be nice working on this for a change. 
I'm used to working on all laptops with old brittle plastics that I have to be extraordinarily, insanely careful with. Like the PowerBook 1400 I tore apart last night that you're seeing all over the place here. Um, so yeah, this is a nice break. Oh my god, there are so many of these little plastic discs. What on earth were they all for? I'm confused. Hold on. So this is gonna be like a long-term series. At some point I'll do a video upgrading the CPU, installing a classic T420 keyboard stuff like that, but that won't be for some time, because I'm taking this at my own pace. So it could be eight months, a year, before you see another part in this. Or maybe I won't make one at all. The main purpose of this is to get one of these uh, a video out on this computer and doing the IPS upgrade. Okay, no screws. That's gonna be lovely in about 15 years. <clears throat> Hopefully now I can just um, go about this self-explanatory E. So let us remove the screwdriver, where'd I put it? Oh, right. Oh, and there's a broken clip. Maybe it, maybe we don't have to wait 30 years. Maybe it's already there. I need a screwdriver. And now I need some driver bits. Where's my Phillips head bit? My large Phillips head bit. Mm. This is not very confidence inspiring, the fact that the hinges are just mounted in plastic there. Like, come on, it's been... It's been so long and we're still doing this? Come on, man. So we have one terrible, awful, horrendous LCD to remove. Is this CFL backlit? Oh, man. If this is CFL backlit, because there's like two wires here. I'm gonna give this thing the benefit of the doubt and say that those wires are gonna go up somewhere and not actually the power pins for a CFL backlight. Okay. And here we go, it's a Samsung LCD. I've never been terribly impressed with the quality of Samsung LCDs. Um, right, so that's one LCD out. This one has like tape around the edges. My replacement doesn't. I hope that isn't an issue. LTN 140 AT20. Very, very well, good name, guys. Okay, um, so here's the adapter, right? So I need to look up a proper guide and then see where this stuff is supposed to go on the motherboard side. Here's our replacement LCD. This is an LG panel. It appears that we're using this connector that I'm holding to attach it. So I find it likely that I'm gonna have to tear into the bottom half of this thing. The model number of this is LP. You can see it there. I got it for about 50 bucks. Hopefully, I mean, it's one of the compatible listed models. Hopefully it's not like a counterfeit, which I've heard people do. They like put some other model number and relabel it as this if it's one that's like more desirable and that won't work won't work right on some applications. Like one of these adapters. So I hope it's actually the right part number. So now I'm gonna look up how we get to the bottom half of this. And uh, unfortunately iFixit doesn't have any good guides for the for these, so I'm gonna have to use like the hardware reference manual, which isn't the best I've seen, but yeah. All right, I got it all wired up. That actually wasn't that bad. Now what I'm worried about is if I'm gonna get an output because I've heard a lot of horror stories of people who got it already and then somehow that one screen didn't work or this and X and Y. 
Ooh, instant power on. Yeah! <laughs> yes! That looks good. That's IPS, too. <laughs> RTC error? Is the clock battery dead in this? Maybe. It's plugged in. The adapter works. I'm about to have a 1080p T430. There is also, by the way, a QHD 1440p one, but I looked into that. Getting a screen, that would take this from a $100 upgrade to a $200 upgrade, and I just don't feel like that's worth it, really. So, 1080p it is, which is good enough, and the quality boost, too. <laughs> so, yeah. I'll be back once this is all put back together. Hmm, well, here's one issue. I'm getting, like, backlight bleed at the bottom. Something, I think it's from something, like, pressing against it, maybe? I'm not sure, but... Let's boot it and see where we're at here. Is that not seated right? You see, now I'm like... Everything seems like it's seated wrong, and... Getting all these clips back together. Yeah, that's backlight bleed. Well, overall, it should be better. Let's just see how it looks when it's booted up. Again? Okay, yeah. Right, it's a ThinkPad. They all do this. Yeah, I really do think it's a pressure thing from the clips on the screen. But let's just see how it looks when we're... Okay, yeah, once we're in Windows, it looks a lot better. And yeah, that's immediately obvious. Everything is so much smaller, and I like it that way. I don't like super big scaling. This is my highest resolution Windows 7 laptop, and it's IPS. <laughs> Uh-oh. Dream Scene didn't get the memo. Oh, there it goes. <laughs> okay. Let's move my gadget over. So when we're not in a black screen, it looks pretty darn good, which is good. I think it should. So... Screen res, 1920 by 1080. Very nice. I'll see if there's anything I can do about that uh, backlight bleed. Or unevenness. Is I calling it screen tearing? Yeah, it's something with the clips, I think, maybe. I don't know. Um, yeah, it probably is. It probably is um, because it has pressure on it from the back and the front. From the, uh, because the cable runs behind here and it's probably pressing it up a bit. So I'll see if there's anything I can do about that, but it looks pretty good right now. And I think I'll especially never notice it because even if I'm on a dark screen, unless I'm in full screen, I still have the light background here. So, yeah. Here we are today. It's been a few months since I recorded that and I'm finally getting this video out, but how's it been? Well, it's been great. I've had no issues um, with the mod. The upgrade board works great. The screen looks great. I did have to actually swap out the screen, though, because the one I got sent originally had a black line vertically that would appear intermittently. So the eBay seller sent a replacement, and I installed it. Now, this one, this is annoying. I managed to cause a bit of pressure damage, clearly from the adapter board, which sits behind here. That didn't happen to the other one, so... It's something I must have messed up on installation, so oh well, but that's really a minor inconvenience. So, future plans, battery rebuild. I'm gonna get send it to a place in Canada that does them. SSD, I wanna put swap out the 256 gig one for one terabyte. Um, T420 keyboard and a quad core i7. That's the eventual plan. And uh, for now though, I'm probably just gonna the i7 upgrade is going to be expensive. So for the time being, I'm going to prioritize the first three, um, especially the battery rebuild, because I actually want to be able to take this thing out with me. The current battery only lasts like half an hour. So once I can take it out with me, I can do a lot more with it. But uh, that's the plan. Uh, I love this laptop. It is so great. I've been using it. It's really just remarkable how in today's world, you can comfortably use an 11-year-old laptop, and not even the highest-end processor in an 11-year-old laptop. This is an i5, 
and still run most things on it just fine. It's nuts, and I love it. And even as Windows 7 ages, this can run Windows 10, but what I'm gonna end up doing is when Windows 7 becomes unusable, I'm gonna keep it on here for Windows 7 things, but for modern use, I'm gonna dual boot Linux. I've been getting more into Linux over the past few months, and you know what? I'm at the point now where I can get by with it, so at least not, at least for a secondary laptop that I don't need certain applications for. So, uh, yeah, that's gonna about do it for today. Upgrade's done, upgrade works great. Highly recommend it if you own a T420 or a T430 or a, one of the S variants of either. It is absolutely, without a doubt, worth worth the hundred bucks I spent on this. So, thank you all for watching. I'll see everyone next time. Have a good one.